Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Karen and I do nail art videos. And today we're gonna to be doing some gorgeous 3D rainbow roses that are super easy. So I have my little flexi finger all ready to go to practice on. I have the nail all buffed and all prepped for our rainbow roses. So jumping into what I will be using, I am going to be using Cocktail Dress by Neo Neil, which is a gel polish. That's going to be my base color. And then I have these four beautiful elastic gels, again from Neo Neil. We have a lime green and a turquoise, a purple and a beautiful hot pink. And I will also be using some Neil Sugar Sparkles, of course. And this week I shall be using this beautiful glitter here called Sugar Baby. It is a fine iridescent, so it is a translucent base. And that's just to give our backdrop a little extra sparkle. And don't forget comment of the week where each week one lucky subscriber comment will be chosen at random to receive a mini gift bag as just a little thank you. So get liking, subscribing, leave me a comment down below because it could be you. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so to begin with, I am going to do two coats of this beautiful cocktail dress, which is kind of like a strawberry, a really light strawberry milkshake color. It's so pretty, so spring-like. I just, I love these muted pastel colors. Um, so like I say, I'm going to be doing two coats of this and um, yeah, I'm just gonna get that first coat on nice and neat, pop it in for a cure and then do my second coat. After that then, I am going to be going in with a very thin layer of a base coat and I'm talking about a super duper thin layer of this here. What I am brushing on, I am literally almost pulling off and I just find base coat so good for this. This is what we are going to use to adhere the beautiful Sugar Baby 2 and there it is in all its pink glory. I just, I adore this glitter so much. I love iridescence. They are my favorite glitters to work with. So using a little brush, I am just gonna go ahead and sprinkle all that goodness on and then we're gonna go in for a double cure. Okay, so now to top coat that glitter to give us a nice smooth surface to work on. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with the first layer of top coat and I'm just kind of floating that layer on. So I have lifted quite a bit off it. and I'm just kind of like working it in there. And, um, and then what I'll do is I will go in for a cure. I decided to use some spider gel. Um, this is the Neo Neo White Spider Gel. Really, really stringy stuff. And uh, I hadn't actually used this before, but I wanted to give it a go just, just because, just why not? So getting a dot until there, um, I decided to um, just kind of do like a few little lines and strands just across the center of the nail, just to kind of give it a bit of a feature, um, what would be behind the roses. Um, if I was doing this again, I would have buffed the surface because it did kind of run a little bit because I'm just a bit sort of slower at this. It was my first time trying it, but hey, it's a learning curve, it's fine. Um, I'll know that for next time. This is the fun of it. So once I have that spider gel applied, I'm then just going to go into the lamp for a cure and then move on to the next bit. Okay, and then finally we're gonna top coat that just to make sure that that design is all encapsulated and ready to go. Okay, so now that we have our nail base done, now on to the exciting bit, our rainbow roses. And I am using obviously the blue, the hot pink, and that beautiful kind of lavendery purple for this. You can use as many colors as you want, but I just wanted to kind of keep it to those three for my roses. So, um, well, like I say, you can use whatever, whatever colors float your boat. And uh, just getting a little bit of each of those, that elastic gel, I'm just kind of rubbing it on the palette and sort of making it into a little ball. 
and then I'm just going to press that down onto the nail. You can use some um, rubbing alcohol, gel cleanser, that kind of thing, just to make it a little less sticky. And once you have that ball pressed down onto the nail, just using your little silicone tool, that's going to be the easiest way to do this. You just kind of want to press round the edges and just flatten it out ever so slightly, as you can see here. And then taking the pointer bit of that silicone tool, I am just going to work my way around in a bit of a kind of score, or sorry, a corkscrew design. Um, so just going around the edges and just kind of swirling that in. And as you can see, it is literally that simple. And as you continue to work around, you will start to see the, the sort of the basic shape of your rose appearing. Once you get to the middle, you can lift that up and just keep on swirling and then press it in, in the center just to create the center of your rose. And you'll see those colors all swirling together. And uh, yeah, it just creates the most pretty little rose shape and it is so easy. These roses are something I have struggled with for such a long time. I just think that 3D flowers for me are just so difficult. They're just so difficult. And so many times I have literally lost the plot through the nail to the side and I've just said, right, no, that's it, I can't do it. This is something that is just beyond me. And um, sometimes it just takes seeing another technique. This technique I had spotted on Pinterest. I will try and find who it was um, and link um, link their social media and that there down below. But I just thought it was such an easy way to do this. Brilliant for beginners. Um, and I can tell you something now, if I can do this, anyone can do it because 3D flowers are, have been my nemesis. So again, I'm just, I've just went into those colors, done exactly the same. And you know, the, the fun thing about this is that you can use one color, you can use a multitude of colors, um, but it's just the same kind of thing. Again, just mixing up your colors, um, pressing it down into like a little almost pancake shape and then just going round with your silicone tool and that's going to make the basis of your flower. How easy is that? It's so effective and next we'll be going on to your leaves. Okay, so now for the leaves. We have cured our main rainbow roses and I'm just going to do the little leaves now. Easiest way I find to do this is again, going into your green elastic gel and just rolling out a really thin, really thin little, little kind of sausage shape almost with that. And then what you can do is you can just break off, as you can see here, just little parts of that there at a time. Um, and what you're gonna do is whenever you've broke off a little bit, you're gonna roll it into a ball again. And just using your silicone tool, you're just gonna set that down. And then you just press into sort of into the center of it and then just kind of pull out a little bit. Again, if you find that the elastic gel is sticking to the silicone tool, um, just use some gel cleanser and that will help or just even clean off the tip of the silicone tool. And again, you just kind of press that out and you'll start to see your little um, your little leaf shape sort of forming. And um, and yeah, and you can just kind of manipulate it into shape. And then once you're happy with your little leaves, you can just pop them in for a cure. They're so simple, so easy to do. If you do them different sizes as well too, they're, they're just, they're really cute. And just add that, that finishing touch almost to the flowers because what would the flowers be without their foliage? And then finally, I wanted to add just a little bit of sparkle, um, just something to catch the eye. And so I just went in with some of the No Wipe Top Coat. Um, I would do that anyway, just to sort of seal around this nail. And, um, and then I'm just adding some crystals and some little caviar beads as well too. So most of the main bits I can get away with, with the 
the um, the actual top coat brush but if you are struggling go in with a detailer brush and you can get in all around those little roses and the little leaves and the crystals and stuff I've just put some on a palette here as you can see it just really helps so once I have covered all around that and I'm happy I just go in for a cure There we go guys that is our little easy 3d rainbow rose nail complete i really love these i just think they are so pretty so beautiful they'll be gorgeous for summer they'll even be gorgeous in winter time imagine gorgeous red roses or even white roses for bridal nails and this is just such a fun and easy way to do it like I say I've struggled for such a long time so I'm really proud of this nail but thank you so much indeed for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment down below because you could be chosen for comment of the week take care and I will see you all again next time bye